This shows the application of the Dryflex 16. Apply a tight coat over the surface of the repair, pushing the Dryflex well into the surface of the timber before completing the repair. Make sure the dry flex is slightly proud before commencing the finishing. The best application technique is to use a light stroke with the spatula, holding the spatula at right angles and screeding the surface of the resin. This shows the method of achieving a right angled corner using the spatula. When using Perspex, ensure the Perspex is flush with the repair and holding the Perspex, push the resin well into the Perspex to avoid air bubbles. screed off in the same way as the previous repair. The Perspex is then left on until the resin is fully cured and then removed this way. When using the timber splice again we must make sure there's a minimum joint of 5 mil between the old and the new timber and apply the bed of resin to all contact sides. Prior to the application of the resin, dry fix has been applied to all contact sides and allowed to penetrate. Press the splice into place and you'll notice no fixings are required with this type of splice. The resin allows plenty of time to adjust the timber into place. And make sure all excess resin is scraped away with a spatula. When doing a large resin repair, it may be necessary to incorporate a timber insert. Please refer to the product information sheet for the maximum size of resin repairs. Should the size of repair exceed these recommendations, a timber insert should be used. When using a timber insert, ensure the timber is dry and butter the end grain with the dry flex before embedding into the dry flex resin 
ensure there's a full coating of 5mm over the surface of the timber insert. This shows the dry flex 4 being moulded to shape. Here we keep the spatula vertical following the profile around. If required, metal spatulas can be used for this purpose. The following sequence shows the repairs to glazing bars. For preparation, we use the Mini Profi and the Straight Cutter, which allows you to cut right up to the glass without breaking it. The first repair is repairing using the timber section bedded on the resin. The second repair is a pure resin repair. And the third repair is using Perspex to form the glazing bar. Using Perspex helps to achieve long straight edges where freehand would be difficult. These repairs were undertaken using Dry Fix and Dry Flex 4.